Hi, uh, this video tutorial I will cover uh, bridge design pattern introduction. Uh, this bridge design pattern falls under the category of uh, structural pattern. Uh, first, we will see the explanation of uh, bridge design pattern. Uh, this is the first explanation I will just read out. Uh, in the bridge pattern, there are two parts. The first part is abstraction and the second part is implementation. Uh, the bridge pattern allows the abstraction and implementation to be developed independently. And the client code can access only the abstraction part without being concerned about the implementation part. Uh, this is the first explanation. I will read out the second explanation. Uh, bridge pattern separates abstraction hierarchy and the implementation hierarchy in two different layers so that the change in one hierarchy will not affect the development or functionality of other hierarchy. Okay. Uh, so I will uh, show one example so that you will understand this explanation very clearly. Uh, suppose say I have a requirement uh, to uh, save an object or uh, delete an object in the persistent. Okay. Uh, so what I can do is uh, I can either save in uh, file system or uh, database. So the right side you can see a uh, persistent implementation. I can use uh, two implementer. Uh, the first one is uh, file system persistent implementer uh, which is used to save an object in the file system. And the second one is uh, database persistent implementer. Uh, which is used to save an object in the uh, database. So I can use uh, one of this implementer uh, to save an object in the persistence. Okay. So as per uh, bridge design pattern, uh, the abstraction and uh, the implementation should be a separate layer. So this persistence is uh, uh, nothing but the abstraction and uh, this is the implementation part. So you can see uh, the two things are in uh, uh, different layers. And uh, if I want to add new implementation or if I want to uh, remove uh, any implementation uh, without affecting the abstraction part, I can do that. Okay, that is the advantage of uh, bridge design pattern. And uh, this persistence will use uh, one of the implementer to uh, save or uh, delete the object. And uh, uh, client will use uh, only the abstraction uh, to save an uh, object or delete an object okay and the persistent will use uh, one of the implementer uh, to save an object in a file system or a database uh, so now if you read this explanation you will understand very clearly uh, in the bridge design pattern there are two parts first part is abstraction so in this case uh, this is this part is abstraction persistence uh, save an object or delete an object and uh, second part is implementation so this persistent implementation is equal to that implementation which is uh, mentioned here. Okay, uh, the bridge pattern allows abstraction and implementation to be developed independently, and the client code can access only the abstraction part without being concerned about the implementation part. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, uh, I can add a new implementation or I can remove any implementation without affecting the abstraction part, which is nothing but the persistent. Okay and uh, client code can access only the abstraction part and uh, it doesn't know how the implementation has been done okay and uh, this is the second explanation uh, the bridge pattern separates uh, the abstraction hierarchy and the implementation hierarchy in two different layers so like i explained earlier uh, the abstraction layer is uh, uh, in one layer and the persistent uh, implementation layer in another layer okay uh, so that change in one hierarchy will not affect the development or functionality of the other hierarchy so if i do any changes here uh, it won't affect uh, abstraction uh, layer and if i do any changes here it won't affect the implementation uh, part okay uh, so this is about uh, bridge design pattern introduction and uh, i have created uh, separate videos for uh, bridge design pattern uh, real time example uh, bridge design pattern class diagram and uh, bridge design pattern implementation so if you want to know more about this uh, design pattern, please log into my channel and uh, watch those videos. And thanks for watching. Bye.